day three. I'm at the river flats, searching for urban Bigfoot. I've found several prehistoric stones. Could they possibly have been fashioned by Bigfoot? Graffiti on the stones, showing a drop shadow effect common with urban Bigfoot. I think this is uh, definitely a sign we are in his area. The path leading down to the river flats is deep and shows signs of recent traffic. The undergrowth is quite heavy. I'm having some trouble getting my camera through it. I could lift it up, but the dramatic effect would be reduced. There are some stones, another big tree, and uh, yes, more of the, uh, the vegetation. With the right kind of music, and if I picked up my pace, this would be quite, quite dramatic. I'm taking a break here to record some labored breathing. It can be used uh, in uh, later sections of the film. Also, I can use the visual of me looking around apprehensively and the ever popular 360, which indicates Bigfoot could be anywhere. Every researcher has to have some good footage of his feet traveling, traveling fast because that's more dramatic. Right through the brush. Ah. Ah. More stones. Smudges along the trail. Could be the marks of a Bigfoot slipping after the rainfall. A worm. I doubt very much that Bigfoot eats worms. The uh, this is uh, a lot of oh. the West River Road. I'm sorry, excuse me. Some say finding Bigfoot in this mass of verdant vegetation would be impossible. Call me a modern-day Dan Quixote, I mean to find him.